All right, I'm shooting the intro today from inside the car. Super windy today. It's a little chilly out today. Military's bombing over there. <laughs> so I don't know how long I'm gonna stay here uh, if it's too cold. Otherwise, I'll just drive around and look, scout out different areas. Sorry about the camera work. I'm trying to like work in reverse here. All right, um, so I hope we found some good stuff. Hope we get a good video today. Uh, and I'll see y'all a little bit. Well, as you can tell, I did, I was able to go out hunting, but it was so windy, I couldn't record. I mean, it was 25, 30 mile an hour winds. I got pelted with sand. I got some, a little bit of rain, which is really rare for the desert, um, out there. So I really didn't get any video out in the field except for the introduction, like I said, because it was so windy. But I did have some amazing finds. I didn't want to give up because uh, I went there. It takes me a couple hours to drive there. So I went and um, I did some amazing hunting. So let's see what we got here. So I'm going to spray them down. And I'm doing a voiceover, by the way, because my iPhone microphone doesn't want to work. But anyway, so let's spray them down. Let's see what we got. So here's a really beautiful piece of braciated jasper. It is definitely the orange, the sunset orange and yellow. Really nice quality, really nice pattern. Was super excited when I saw that just laying on the surface. I was like, I couldn't believe it. It's got a little agate there. You can see the little agate. So there's the back. All right. And the next piece up is, it's another piece of braciated. Found these two right next to each other. Again, Super excited that I found these. Really pretty, uh, really colorful, uh, very nice. Those will make some great display pieces. All right, and next up, so here's more of a solid orange with a little red, not much yellow, ratiated. Again, good quality. You can see the volcanic ash on the back, which is all that white stuff. Um, so that's still all volcanic ash. When you cut and polish that, you can get that out. Um, and there's a little chip of it right there. That's a little chip of volcanic ash. I just chipped some of it off, but that's volcanic ash. Yeah. So again, pretty orange color. Uh, real nice. The next one is another braciated. And this one's orange and yellow. So again, it's got orange on one side, yellow on the other side. Craziest thing. Um, how you find them like that. And this one is another piece of braciated. So again, it's got the agate, it's got orange, it's got yellow in it. Um, just another little piece that'll make a great little tumbler or cab or um, I haven't decided what to do with it yet. But anyway, just love those patterns, how it patterns in there. So cool. All right, what we got next? Next is another braciated. I'm doing all the braciated jaspers first, by the way. Um, again, this is another orange braciated. This one, when I cut it, this one's going to be nice when it gets cut. Um, it'll look a lot nicer. So here's another piece of jasper. So this one's got like a maroon color and a, and a yellow color. Again, really nice. Uh, it's got that little line, little banding of the jasper going through there. Again, just kind of a neat piece with the maroon on the yellow. And here's another braciated. This one's mostly orange. It's got a little tiny, tiny bit of like yellowish color, a little tiny spot of blue agate there. Again, this is a pretty neat piece. And let's see what's up next. Drum roll. Could it be? Is it? What? What? Of course it is. My favorite. You got the green on the top. Is what I'm showing. It's a moss agate. Dun dun dun. So again, you can see the green on the top. The green always wears off faster. I don't know why. Here's another kind of look at the moss 
it's really not a, a it's a pretty tightly packed moss um the green always wears off faster is what i'm saying there whenever i tumble it i don't know why i guess because it's on the top here's another brachiated i just found that i missed there you go it's got that whole sunset that yellow orange red color in there that lavic so famous for it's just beautiful material when you find a good solid piece of it um it's just to me it's just really pretty some of the most pretty prettiest jasper i've ever seen so all right and here we go i already showed y'all that one psych um <laughs> So here's another moss. This one's a really cool one. Look at the pattern in this one. Um, it's just kind of got some really interesting patterns. The moss is going all kind of crazy ways in here. And here's your lines. So you can see the lines on the top. And what I'm saying, if you cut, if you cut horizontal to the lines, you're going to get horizontal lines, right? If you cut it the other way, perpendicular to the lines, is when you get the crazy moss patterns. Um, so that's all I was just basically trying to show that, you know, when you, it's all in the cutting, how you cut determines how the patterns come out. Here's another one. So this is more of a, of a, um, orangey kind of like orangey, almost, almost brown, like orangey brown color moss. Again, just kind of show you the variety of material they have out there. It's, it's pretty, um, interesting you know how how much variety how many colors and even the quality of the jaspers and agates you find out there so here's another piece this one's going to be interesting um to cut this is what we can see the kind of the it's tightly pass, packed orange moss this looks like it might be a little green there but i'm going to cut it that way is what i'm thinking because i think you'll expose some really cool moss going that way but I don't know. Have to cut it. Have a lot of hope for this one. I think it's going to be nice when I cut it. I think there's going to be some green in there. So we'll have to see that in the cutting video. All right, what's up next? Okay, here's another moss. Cool. Look at that moss pattern. I'm fast today. All right. That's really pretty. That That's just, just a really pretty red moss pattern with the white agate in there. It's really neat. It's going to be fun to cut this one open and see what else is in there. This side looks like it has some green at the bottom, down there at the bottom. So it'll be fun to cut this open and see what kind of patterns are in there. Next up is a moss agate. So again, I did pretty good with the moss agates today. Here you can see all the lines. I'm showing you all the lines. And that's what I said, if you cut perpendicular to the lines, you get more of that moss pattern. If you cut with the lines, you're going to get horizontal pattern. So it just depends on what you want. I usually like the moss pattern more than horizontal patterns. And this, the back, you can kind of see has no lines on it. So, but it does have moss in there. So you can see when you cut it, you'll have moss in there. So, do, do, do. Okay, here's a cool one. So this one's not really moss. It's more of a braciated, and this is a chip. Somebody chipped off a bigger rock. Um, and you can see where the bright orange is, is where I'm pointing to. You see that jasper. It's just not as silicated as, you know, some of the other jasper. So, you know, if you tumble this, it's going to undercut. And just from tumbling this type of material, I've learned this through trial and error. So it's going to tumble cut. So I'll probably use the flat lap to to flatten that and polish it. Because, again, if you put it in the tumbler, it's going to undercut. And you're going to get a lot of pits in your, in your jasper. Um, even on the flat lap, too, sometimes that happens as well. But you got a better shot on the flat lap. Um, a vibratory tumbler would be even better. But I don't have one of those. Okay, so here's another one. This one's a cool, like, um, Jasper. And I'll get to the pattern here. It is right here. You can kind of see the pattern. Look at the yellow. Just 
see the it's got this really cool yellow maroon pattern and it's kind of crazy in there it's not quite moss but it's almost we'll call it moss like because you can see that pattern right there but it's really interesting because when you see the yellow and stuff on the other side it just looks like it dripped like semi drip wax like yellow wax right it's just so cool just to think about how this formed and the volcanism that occurred to to make these rocks form and the minerals that are in there that cause all these different colors and how they all kind of come together. There's some agate right there. Anyway, just kind of a cool piece. It's going to be fun to cut that one up and see what it's in the, in the inside. The cutting video is always some of my favorites. So here's another moss. It's got some orange moss there. You can see this side, it's got some more orange moss there. And you can really just see the the variety and even the texture and the patterns in the mosses, they just, they're vastly different. Um, all in the same location, it's kinda, it's kinda interesting. All right, what's next? Oh, this one's cool. So this one, this rock has a lot of texture. It's it's like, um, I call it like alligator skin because it's all bumpy in texture. You see all the texture it has in it. It's really weird and it is Jasper. Just the way it formed with all those little bumps, it's bizarre how it's formed. So it's going to be fun to cut open. I just don't know how good it's going to be in the inside because I've never cut any of these before. Matter of fact, I've never found one like this before. So... But it really intrigued me just because of the the texture on it and the way, you know, you can see all the little, how it's bumpy and how it was formed. It makes you wonder what, if that pattern is going to be there when I cut it open. You know, it's going to have that kind of pattern. Who knows? We'll see in a cutting video. So here's one. There's a lot of a, this is more of a jasper agate. It doesn't quite have all the moss, but it has this really cool pattern on the end. Check that out. Bizarro land, huh? It's just kind of weird. I like it. It's weird in a good way. So anyway, I thought that one was kind of cool because of that pattern there. So I'm just showing you the volcanic ash. That white stuff's volcanic ash. So this is an interesting one. Love the banding in this one. So I thought it was common opal, but I tried to scratch it. I have a my metal my metal all I scratched it and it didn't it didn't put a scratch in it. It actually you could see right there, you could see it left some metal. It, you know, so it didn't it didn't scratch the, the piece, but it left some metal. So it's it's this is actually a jasper or or milky agate with some banding in it. So it's probably a combination thereof. But it's gonna be super hard, I can tell you that, because again I tried to scratch it and I originally thought it was common opal. But I love I love those bands in there. It's pretty neat. And then check this out. Look at this pink color on the top. Wouldn't it be cool if that whole thing was like that? Or if it's like that on the inside? It's probably not, but I'm going to cut it. I'm going to figure out how to cut it. There's some more of that pink color. I just think that's really neat. And then you got the red jasper down there. So it's kind of one of those bizarro ones. And here's another one. So this one's cool. It's got all the white petrodal agates on top, and of course it's moss on the side. So and, uh, just the way the agate forms when it forms those petrodals on top like that. It's just so cool. This one I'll probably keep as a specimen, um, so I won't really do a lot of polishing on it, or I definitely won't tumble it. Um, but anyway, I'll probably keep this as a specimen. But it's got great moss. It's kind of bluish purpley um, agate. You can see it going through the through the moss as well. Next up is oh, this is a cool moss. Check out all the colors in this one. It's got a little green. It's got orange. It's got a little red. It's got yellow. All in this one thing. It's so cool looking. It's like an autumn forest. You know, it's just so cool. It's got all these different patterns in it. And then here's the top. You can see the little green. I'm pointing out the green there. And then check this out. 
So that one's got, you can see the green, and then you got the orange going into, you know, the dark reddish orange going to light orange and almost yellow. Then you can see you get the green in the top. It's just really neat. I'd like to find a big giant one like that. That's a really pretty piece. So again, here's another one of those weird ones that, again, I thought was kind of common opal, but it's not. It's very hard. It doesn't scratch with metal. So the metal all won't scratch it. So, um, But check out the banding on there. It's got these two almost like like ja like some Imperial Jasper or whatever. See, it's got those concentric bands, you know, like you, like you find. So I'm, I'm thinking it's some type of Jasper, you know, um, with that banding on that other side. It's really cool. So it's really intriguing me, this side right here, because it's got that banding in there. You see it? And the colors, you see a little pink in there, and just kind of neat. I need a big piece like that. All right, let's see this one. So this is another moss again. You see the variety in the colors and in the, the textures and the shapes. Just it's just so much variety. So you see this one's got some orange, some yellow, some red. It's got agate in there. It's kind of crazy how it all kind of forms. You know, it's just. And it's weird, the variety and the colors are just, you know, how it varies so much. And one lo location is just amazing to me. And here's another one. So you can see the same thing. It's got that yellow, red, orange. That's green at the very bottom. There's a little green at the top, too. It's just bizarre how it's formed. It's just beautiful, too. <clears throat> There you go. There's another weird pattern. Got that little orange circle in the middle there. And the yellow just looks like somebody just dropped wax on there or paint, you know. It's so cool. So the dilemma is always how do you cut these and what do you, you know, how do you cut it? Do you cab it? Do you cut it? Do you leave it as a specimen? You know, that's always the dilemma. So here's a neat one. We gotta spray it down. This one's cool. Uh, my phone's going yellow, orange. Oh, now it's going light again. There you go. So you can see it's got green, it's got yellow, it's got red. This one's got all kind of craziness going on in there. Crazy in a good way. So then here's this side. Check it out. So it's got a party in the back too. It's got a mullet. It's a mullet rock. <laughs> So, but look at the colors. It's just, just really pretty. It's outstanding. I just, I think this is really neat. Um, it's a great place to hunt if you ever get a chance to go out to Lava Excited, and I strongly recommend you go. Um, again, I take my time when I go. I'm usually out there five plus hours. So every time I go, it's a two hour drive for me to get out there. But it's just the material is is just you can find some beautiful stuff there's a lot of material out there you, you know i pick through you can watch when i go out there in my other videos i i pick through and then again you know i try to find the better stuff this one's cool because i'm thinking about trying to make this one into a spear i did that when i showed my rock my collection of what i've what i've collected and polished in my collection on my magnet board i have I did some little spears, and they're like the size of marbles, and I hand, I did them free form. So I'm thinking about trying to see if I can get a spear out of this one. It's not it's not the prettiest appreciated, but it would be a good practice one to see if I can get a bigger spear out of that one. Here's another moss. Again, another example. This one's got a little bit more tighter pattern on one end, and see it's got more agate on the other end, and then you flip it over, and then it was tightly packed. It has more on the end, and... It's crazy. Then look at the very end. It's got an even different pattern. It's to me, it's amazing how this stuff forms. You know the process why it gets frozen in time that way. And check this one out. So this one's got a nice moss pattern with the agate. And again, depending on which way you hold it, which way you look at it, which way you cut it, it's all different, right? Oh, let's see there you go so there's the horizontal line so if you cut it horizontally you know if you cut it even with the lines of moss that's what you get 
but sometimes those lines they swerve all kind of crazy ways, you know. Um, I've seen them where they make almost a complete circle. So when you cut in a rock, you get these really strange patterns. Here's another moss. This one's got a lot of bright orange moss in this one. Again, it doesn't look like somebody just dripped paint all over the rock. I like a melted crayon. They just melted a crayon all over the rock. It's so cool. Look at that. Neato. There's a little hole there. It was an like air bubble, gas bubble. I wonder if there was an agate in there that popped out. Who knows? It could just be a gas bubble. It would be cool if there was an agate in there and it popped out and you found it. Anyway, I think the color this is amazing. So, all right. Well, this is going to wrap it up. So, thank you all for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you, if you care to. Again, I do this for fun. It's my hobby. So, I'll see you all in the next one. Part two is coming up.